Hello everybody, it's Bing from Kodak Alaris here and today I thought it would be cool to check out how we can capture documents with Capture Pro straight into SharePoint. So if we look at the screen now, we do have our demo SharePoint environment set up and we also have a list here called VAT Tax Returns. I wish to use Capture Pro to capture documents straight into this list. So how can we do that? Let's check out Capture Pro now and go to our job setup. So I have a job set up for VAT tax returns. Let's check out how it's been set up so far. If we look in our Capture tab, we can look at our barcode OCR and mark detection zones. And in this case, we do have some zones already set up ready to go. We're gonna be capturing some data here. We can see that we're capturing a barcode, a registration number, a period, and a payment enclosed, which is a mark detection zone at the bottom there looking for a tick. If we check out our indexing fields here, we've got a title, a name, and a payment enclosed. And we can see that we are pulling data straight into these fields based on the zones that we have set up for that page. Now finally, if we check out our output tab, we can see that we have no output actually selected yet. So let's set one up. As we mentioned, we want to do SharePoint today. So I'm going to tick my Microsoft SharePoint option. We can see that nothing's been set up yet. So why don't we set up a new SharePoint connection? So we can see I've already got some connections set up, but I want to make a new one today. So I'll press the new button. I need to give it a name. So I'll keep it relevant and we'll go VAT tax returns. Now in this case, I want to be using a SharePoint account and I want to use a SharePoint online account because my SharePoint environment is using Office 365. So I'll put in my credentials now. I also need to specify my host name. So that will be my actual SharePoint link. So if I copy and paste here, straight out of my browser, I'm going to go to my host name, paste that in. For my site name, we can select a subsite. I'm gonna press the browse button. Capture Pro will connect to the SharePoint site and check to see if there's any subsites. Now in this instance, there aren't any. So I'm just gonna use the base site. I can use the test connection button to confirm that my connection to SharePoint will work. And we can see here, the connection is okay. So I'm happy with that. I've now got my new connection and now I need to select my list. So Capture Pro will connect to SharePoint using the connection I have set up and identify any lists that are within that SharePoint site that I can capture documents into. Now I'm gonna select the VAT tax returns list that we spoke about earlier. Capture Pro will identify all of the fields that can be found within that particular SharePoint list and we can see all that information has been provided to us here. So I'm happy with that and I'm ready to move on. I can map now between the SharePoint columns and my Capture Pro indexing fields. So first one is name. I'm going to select my document index field called name. I will do the same for title. And finally, payment enclosed. So not only can I upload documents into SharePoint, but I can also pull relevant data straight out of the document with Capture Pro and put it straight into my SharePoint list. I don't need to access the subfolder, so I'm just gonna leave it at the base folder and I'm going to be saving it as a searchable PDF. So I'm gonna press finish now and press apply. And so that job has now been updated. So let's see it work in real life. We'll create a new batch. I'll select my VAT tax returns job. 
then we're ready to go. So if you look at our sample documents now, we do have some VAT tax returns that I wish to scan. I'm going to load those up into the automatic document feeder of my Kodak Alaris i3000 series scanner. I can use Capture Pro to initiate the scan and those documents will pull through. Awesome, so we can see those documents have already made it into Capture Pro. In the instance where indexing fields have not been captured or the software is not confident that they've been captured correctly, the indexing window will automatically be displayed. In this case, Capture Pro is confident that it's captured all the data, but I can press the E button on my keyboard to quickly go to this section and just double check that all of that data has been captured. I'm going to quickly skip through all my documents and I can see that they are all good to go. So I'll just press enter to continue and finally I can press the finish button here to output the batch. Awesome, so Capture Pro will now export those documents straight into my SharePoint list along with the corresponding metadata that I have mapped in my job setup. So let's go back to our web browser now. I'm going to go back to my home and then I'll head back to my list just to give it an opportunity to refresh. Now we've got four documents, so those documents are one by one being pushed in and now we have all five. So now all of our documents have been pushed into this SharePoint list. Now we can see our name, title and payment in closed fields have all been automatically pushed into the list as well. Let's click on this document. Awesome, so I've got a high quality scan thanks to my Kodak Alaris scanner. I'm very happy with that. So that's how we can set up our SharePoint integration in five minutes. Alaris makes sense.